Busreelin, Wikipedia article audio. Busreelin, sold under the brand name Suprefact among others, is a medication which is used primarily in the treatment of prostate cancer and endometriosis. It is also used for other indications such as the treatment of premenopausal breast cancer, uterine fibroids, and early puberty, in assisted reproduction for female infertility, and as a part of transgender hormone therapy. In addition, busrelin is used in veterinary medicine. The medication is typically used as a nasal spray three times per day but is also available for use as a liquid or implant for injection into fat. Side effects of busrelin are related to sex hormone deprivation and include symptoms of low testosterone levels and low estrogen levels such as hot flashes, sexual dysfunction, vaginal atrophy, and osteoporosis. The drug is a gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonist and works by preventing the production of sex hormones by the gonads. It can lower sex hormone levels by 95% in both sexes. Busrelin is a peptide and an analog of GnRH. Medical Uses Available Forms Busrelin was first described in 1976 and was introduced for medical use in 1984. It is not available in the United States, but is marketed widely elsewhere in the world, including in the United Kingdom, Canada, and many other countries. The medication is one of only two medically used GnRH analogs that are available as nasal sprays, the other being nefarlin. Busrelin is available as a generic medication. Busrelin is approved for the treatment of hormone responsive cancers, including prostate cancer and premenopausal breast cancer, sex hormone dependent uterine diseases, including endometrial hyperplasia, endometriosis, and uterine fibroids, and in assisted reproduction for female infertility. It is also used off-label for the treatment of precocious puberty, as a puberty blocker in transgender children, and as a component of transgender hormone therapy. In ovulation induction, busrelin is used for pituitary suppression as an adjunct to gonadotropin administration. It has also been assessed as a nasal spray for use as a hormonal contraceptive in women with a 96% anovulation rate. For prostate cancer, the dosage of busrelin by subcutaneous injection is 500 g three times per day for one week and then 200 g once daily thereafter. If busrelin is used as a nasal spray, the dosage for prostate cancer is 800 g three times per day for one week followed by 400 g three times per day thereafter. For endometriosis, busrelin is used specifically as a nasal spray and the dosage is the same as that used for prostate cancer. These dosages of busrelin for both subcutaneous injection and nasal spray have been found to decrease testosterone levels to near castrate levels in men with prostate cancer, although suppression was more complete with subcutaneous injection presumably due to suboptimal absorption with intranasal administration. Busrelin is available in the form of a 1 mg ml solution for use as a nasal spray or subcutaneous injection once every 8 hours and as 6.3 mg and 9.45 mg implants for subcutaneous injection once every 2 and 3 months, respectively. During the initial phase of the therapy, before GnRH receptors have been significantly downregulated, testosterone levels are increased. This can lead to transient tumor activation with bone pain and urinary retention. Side effects that occur later during the treatment are mainly due to low sex hormone levels and include reduced libido, erectile dysfunction, hot flashes, vaginal dryness, vaginal atrophy, menorrhagia, osteoporosis, depression, 
asthenia, emotional liability, headache, dizziness, and application site reactions. Side effects Buzrelin is a GnRH agonist, or an agonist of the GnRH receptor. It is a superagonist of the GnRH receptor with potency for induction of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone secretion of about 20 to 170 times that of GnRH itself. By activating the GnRH receptor in the pituitary gland, Buzrelin induces the secretion of LH and FSH from the gonadotrophs of the anterior pituitary, which travel to the gonads through the bloodstream and activate gonadal sex hormone production as well as stimulate spermatogenesis in men and induce ovulation in women. With chronic administration of Buzrelin however, the GnRH receptor becomes desensitized and completely stops responding both to buzrelin and to endogenous GnRH. This is because GnRH is normally released from the hypothalamus in pulses, which keeps the GnRH receptor sensitive, whereas chronic buzrelin administration results in more constant exposure and desensitization of the receptor. The profound desensitization of the GnRH receptor results in a loss of LH and FSH secretion from the anterior pituitary and a consequent shutdown of gonadal sex hormone production, markedly diminished or abolished spermatogenesis in men, and anovulation in women. Pharmacology In men Approximately 95% of circulating testosterone is produced by the testes, with the remaining 5% being derived from the adrenal glands. In accordance, GnRH analogs like buzrelin can reduce testosterone levels by 95% in men. Sex hormone levels, including those of estradiol and progesterone, are similarly profoundly suppressed in premenopausal women. The suppression of estradiol levels is 95% and progesterone levels are less than 1 ng ml, the resulting levels are equivalent to those in postmenopausal women. Buzrelin is ineffective via oral administration due to first pass metabolism in the gastrointestinal tract. Its bioavailability is 2.5 to 3.3% by intranasal administration and 70% by subcutaneous injection. The plasma protein binding of buzrelin is approximately 15%. The metabolism of buzrelin occurs in the liver, kidneys, and gastrointestinal tract and is mediated by peptidases specifically pyroglutamyl peptidase and chymotrypsin-like endopeptidase. The elimination half-life of buzrelin regardless of route of administration is about 72 to 80 minutes. Buzrelin and its metabolites are eliminated in the urine and bile, with approximately 50% of buzrelin excreted in the urine unchanged. Buzrelin is a GnRH analog or a synthetic analog of GnRH. It is a known apeptide and is also known as 6 day glynh 210 gnrh ethylamide or as D-SIR-6-EA-10-GnRH. Buzrelin is marketed for medical use in both its free base and acetate salt forms. Pharmacodynamics Buzrelin was first described in 1976 and was introduced for medical use in 1984. Pharmacokinetics Buzrelin is the generic name of the drug and its in and ban, while buzrelin acetate is its usin, BANM, and JAN, buciroline is its DCF, and buciralina is its DCIT. While under development by Hoogst AG, Buzrelin was also known as HO-766. Chemistry Buzrelin is marketed by Sanofi Aventus primarily under the brand names Suprefact, Suprefact Depot, and Suprecur. 
It is also available under a number of other brand names including Begonist, Bucel, Buse Recur, Fusette, Matrilev, Perfect, Perfect Depot, Supremen, and Zerolin. Sinefact is a generic version of the medication that is produced by Sinagan. Buzrelin is marketed for use in veterinary medicine primarily under the brand name Receptal, but is also available under the brand names Busserol, Busol, Porceptal, and Veterelin. Buzrelin is marketed in the United Kingdom, Ireland, other European countries, Canada, New Zealand, and South Africa, as well as in Latin America, Asia, and elsewhere in the world. It is not available in the United States or Australia. History The steroidal antiandrogen cyproterone acetate has been studied for blocking the testosterone flare at the start of buzrelin therapy in men with prostate cancer. While cyproterone acetate for two weeks eliminates the biological and biochemical signs of the flare, no benefits on prostate cancer outcomes were observed. Society and Culture Generic Names Brand Names Availability Research <laughs>